Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do a skunk bath on a dog. Alright, if you're new here, my name is Claire, and my channel is all about mom stuff, lady stuff, and life stuff. So if you're into any of that, definitely hit that subscribe button down below. I'd love to have you. If you are new to this channel, then you might not know that actually I am a professional dog groomer as well as a mom. And so I have a lot of experience, seven years to be exact, dealing with um, skunks and skunk baths and um, all sorts of methods that people have tried and things that don't work. Um, and actually, for the first time in Duke's entire life, last night he was skunked. So if a quick search for what to do has led you to this video, the first advice I'm going to give you is do not get your dog wet. The biggest mistake people make is they try to wash it off and actually the fluid that comes out of a skunk is oil. So water is not going to work, it's going to make it so much worse. And when people call me up at the salon and they say, my dog got skunked, I'm going to bring them in tomorrow, I ask if they've had a bath already and if they have I have to go through this whole spiel about how we'll do what we can but it might not come out completely and once you get your dog wet, it's going to stay there. So. If you're watching this and you haven't done anything yet, don't use tomato juice, don't get your dog wet, just watch this video, I'll show you what we do. Now normally if this were to happen to me, I would take Duke to the salon, but of course, skunks are nocturnal, this happened at like midnight. So we had to do the skunk bath on our front porch. So the recipe for the skunk shampoo that I'm going to give you is the one I use in my salon. Most professional groomers I've talked to use this recipe or some pretty close variation of this recipe. And you're really only going to need three things. Hydrogen peroxide, baking soda, and Dawn. Now when it comes to the hydrogen peroxide and the baking soda, you can use any brand. But when it comes to the dish soap, it has to be Dawn and it has to be the classic blue dawn don't ask me why it just it has to so the first thing I do is I'm going to put my baking soda in and actually the recipe is pretty simple and easy to remember because it's equal parts hydrogen peroxide and baking soda with just a squirt of dawn and it's really kind of hard to mess the proportions up um, if it's starting to get a little bit too liquidy add some more powder um, the the baking soda won't totally dissolve into the hydrogen peroxide so once you go to put it on you're gonna want to have a spoon with you to sort of keep mixing it up and uh, to make sure uh, that they stay together so the first thing I'm going to do and you don't have to do this it kind of depends on where your dog has been skunked I always do like a good sniff over and make sure that the most concentrated area of the skunk smell gets treated first and for poor Duke that was his face and we definitely don't want any of the hydrogen peroxide mixture uh, to hurt his eyes and we also want to make sure that um, the skunk didn't get him in his eyes so this is actually Burt's Bees brand um, eye wash and this I just found at my local store um, because at my at my salon obviously I have like a professional um, I wash for dogs, um, but this is just a simple dog saline solution uh, just to make sure and then if any time in the process he gets wiggly or something happens and he does get some hydrogen peroxide in his eye, I have uh, this ready to go to make sure that he stays safe. And the most important thing, you want to put this mixture on a dry dog. You don't need to wear gloves, I just know that it makes my hands itch so I always wear gloves when I do a skunk bath. This mixture isn't going to create any suds at all. Um, it's going to be kind of like, like thick and weird and you're just going to try to get it as well rubbed in as you can in the stinkiest spots on your dog. And 
And then it's really a waiting game after that. For the most part, I would do a minimum of 20 minutes uh, for a skunk bath. It kind of depends on how quickly you got to it. Obviously, we were lucky enough that I knew exactly what to do and he was barely skunked for 10 minutes before I got uh, this ready for him. So I decided to leave it on for a solid 25 minutes just to make sure. And that is the biggest mistake I think even professional groomers make is taking it off too soon. You really need to let it sit there. Luckily Duke is a really good boy and this part isn't that hard for us. When it comes time to rinse, Make sure you're using the coldest water that you think your dog can tolerate. Obviously, if you have a dog with a really thick coat, because their coat is going to absorb so much more water than like a dog like Duke is, um, you're going to need to be a little bit more careful with that cold water. You don't want to hurt your dog, obviously. Um, but just like how you take a nice warm shower to open your pores, you want to do the opposite when you're dealing with a skunk bath. You do not want your dog's pores to open and the second that that oil gets in your dog's pores, you're done. I mean, it's going to be a couple months of like slightly smelling like skunk and also anytime your dog gets wet, um, it will kind of reactivate the smell for like probably a solid month or two. Now, the second step that I'm doing with Duke is not something I do in the salon, um, just because Dawn can be a little bit harsh on a dog's coat. It does really strip all the oils off of your dog, which isn't healthy. Usually in a professional setting, I would only use a little squirt of Dawn if I have a dog uh, who is getting a skunk bath or some other specialty bath if they have an oil problem or something like that. Um, then I will use it, but I don't do like an all over Dawn bath on dogs at the salon just because, you know, I don't know them as well as my own dog and that's not something I would ever risk. But because I do know Duke really well, and this obviously can be used at your own discretion, after I did the skunk bath, I went ahead and just scrubbed him down in straight up Dawn everywhere and then rinsed him again. And that, honestly, is the best way to get the skunk smell out of your dog. And even my husband, who was also skunked, used, um, he didn't use hydrogen peroxide, but he used baking soda and Dawn on himself, and that worked really well on people too. And of course, if you're in a sticky situation and you don't know what to do, call your local veterinarian or your local groomer. They will totally help you handle the situation. Don't go for those myths that people think, like using tomato juice and stuff like that. That does not work. It will just make your dog stinky and stained and it will be very hard to get the skunk smell out after doing something like that. I think Duke was pretty excited uh, to be done with all of it. I think that was the longest bath he's ever had in his life. He was super mad at me. He didn't want to look at me during the whole bath. But the second he was done, we call it the zoomies when he gets all excited like that. So he, uh, he felt nice and clean and happy to be rid of the skunk smell. and. We were just as relieved too to have caught it so fast that we didn't even need to smell it, you know, even a day later. Alright you guys, I know that this was like a little bit off from my like kind of normal motherhood and lifestyle sort of videos, but hey, I know a lot of you families out there have dogs and live in areas where you might run into a skunk and even if it's never happened to you, hopefully one day if it does, you'll think back and be like, oh I saw that girl on YouTube and now I know what to do. So. Hopefully you got something out of this. Uh, give me a like if you like this video. Let me know in the comments below if you have ever dealt with a skunk. And of course, I come back for more mom stuff, lady stuff, and life stuff. Sometimes some Duke stuff. And I will see you guys in my next one. New uploads every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. Bye!